Today's review is the NECA The Terminator T800 Tech Noir action figure. Featuring the likeness of Arnold Schwarzenegger and this is in his Tech Noir outfit. So here's the front view of the packaging and also on the back is a couple of shots of the figure and the included accessories. So what's really cool about this figure is it is an ultimate format figure so it comes with um, comes in the window style packaging so here it is as you can see you get multiple replaceable heads and also weapons accessories and on the left side of the package uh, inside packaging you get a nice little shot of the tech noir so here's the t100 out of the package as you can see, you get two additional heads, shotgun, machine gun, a pistol, alternate left hand, and alternate right arm, and two surgical tools. So here are the two alternate heads that come with the figure. On the left side is basically, he loses most of his hair because he jumps out of the burning car. So he burns most of the hair and also his eyebrows. He has that evil look on him. On the right side is the battle damage version. Here's the shotgun. It's pretty plain to me. There's you know solid brown color painted to it. Uh, dark gray on the metal part. There's no weathering or anything like that. I mean very little weathering but actually it's just a little bit shiny. Here is the machine gun Uzi 9mm, painted all black. It's nicely sculpted though. Here's the laser sighted pistol. This one actually has some nice weathering to it. Uh, this is, in my opinion, this is the T-800 Tech Noir sig signature gun because he uses this gun um, when he walks into the nightclub. Tech Noir, he's about to shoot up. He's about to shoot and kill Sarah Connor in her early days you know he points the laser sight right on her forehead here is alternate left hand this is a alternate right hand as you can see there's blood and robotic robotic parts inside he this is when uh, the tech noir attempts to repair his own arm after a, a damage after a fight with Kyle Reese and Sarah Connor. I believe it was a car chase scene. And here are two surgical tools that the figure comes with. These are painted solid color. It's nice, ni nicely detailed. Um, but I, they're more of just, you know, put on the side of displaying with the figure. That's what it's nice for. So here's a close up look of the figure. As you can see, it has a very good likeness to Arnold. Uh, this is actually one of my more anticipated figures from the Terminator line from NECA. He has his original hairstyle that he come that he comes with when he arrives in in the I should say in the past from the future. Um, that looks he it's a very uncanny look of Arnold Schwarzenegger at his younger days so just you know from top to bottom you can see he's wearing that jacket that he steals from one of the punks and the insider shirt as well which is really really nicely detailed I like I like the minor details inside there goes great with the figure so the main difference from this and the original tech noir figure is it's now an ultimate format, so it comes with fully articulated, articulated legs uh, from basically waist down. So, in terms of articulation, his head and neck is on a ball joint. His arms, it's on a ball socket. pretty stiff I think because I had it in the package for a while and has a bend at the elbow there's also rotation at the hand is a ball it's a ball peg 
and there's no app crunch but there is waist swivel and with the new articulation uh, he, both legs are on ball joints so he is able to kick forward and back left and right in and out his knees on a bend and a rotation his upper boot is on a rotation and his foot is on a ball joint so it's a definitely a major improvement from the original uh, tech noir figure uh, it, the original there was a, actually two figures but uh, with everything you get here you get everything from both figures individually you get it all in one uh, with an improved upgraded uh, leg articulation in terms of paint application this is far superior than anything I've seen in uh, the Terminator line. I mean, only because I just love this uh, costume or outfit from uh, T-800. So his hair is nicely sculpted. His, you know, like I mentioned before, his likeness is very uncanny to Arnold. The inside of his shirt is, you know, the shirt that he steals from one of the punks. His jacket is nicely, nicely detailed. There's some dirt around, wear to it. This is the back of it, little spikes. I mean, it's not actual spikes, but that's what the original jacket was in the movie. But this is a nice depiction of it. There's actually a plastic chain above his left arm, which is pretty cool. I like that they add it in there. His pants are of a dirty brown color. They're kind of like cargo pants. And of course his boots. So let's try attaching one of the other heads. Yeah, so the reason I had to pause the camera for a little bit so I can uh, continue recording after is because the heads are it's a little bit challenging to swap it out because of the uh, the ball peg inside the the torso and the, and the the hole inside the head to attach it to is um, slightly tighter than what it should be but once you get it in there it, it fits perfectly fine and it does it's not gonna go anywhere it's not gonna go anywhere So this is the battle damage version. I just wanted to show you guys. Um, so to just attach weapons to his hand, all you need to do is that. So inserting the shotgun to his hand, um, the challenge is that the gun is actually um, a little soft rubber I mean it's not soft enough that you can't get it into his hand but his hands are a little stiff because um, I mean you might have to blow dry heat dry it just a little but I didn't have to do that I just um, slightly open his fingers so I can put the shotgun in there so as you can see it fits pretty nice and to swap out his left hand just put that in there there you go Sarah Connor man this guy's just badass Let's try swapping out his right arm. So here's him, you know, performing his own surgery because he just got out of a battle with Kyle Reese and Sarah Connor. So he holds his surgical tools pretty well. I mean, it kind of dangles on top of his hand. It's that's how it's supposed to look, and he's just looking down there at his arm, testing it as he moves his index finger. That's just sick. After swapping out the left hand and taking a closer look, 
The left hand fingers are actually a little looser so you can insert weapons onto his left hand. So as you can see, <clears throat> it does hold weapons pretty well. And that goes with the pistol as well. So overall, I think this is one of the best NECA Terminator figures that has you know, been released. Uh, I mean, in the past, we've gotten the T-800 from Terminator 2 and also the T-800 from as the police station assault uniform, which was the last video I did. And I have to say this is my one of my favorites so far. Um, so I would definitely recommend this if you're a Terminator fan, especially from Terminator 1. Um, this just comes with a boatload of accessories that you could play around with. Photograph, display, do what you want. I highly recommend this figure. If you have any comments or questions, just write them below. I'll be happy to answer them. And also subscribe to my channel. Trying to get more viewership on my channel, although it's small, but trying to get more re more reviews up. I have a bunch of toys to review, and have a good day.